Hi, this is Nori with My Service Depot. Please note that the content you are about to view is meant as a generalization of the smart service job process as a whole. It is not directed at any specific industry or your company's personalized process. However, by learning the basics of smart service, we hope to give you a head start on using our software. This series will be divided into three segments to ensure the best learning experience. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please give us a call at 888-518-0818. If you are interested in purchasing additional live training, please let us know. Now that the job has been completed via iFleet, it returns to the office for review and closing. There are two ways to complete this step. This video will cover both methods. The first option is to use the color by timestamp feature from the scheduling board. You can access this feature by visiting the scheduler, clicking in the drop down next to color and choose by timestamp. This option will also allow you to see the field employees progression on the job. Once the job has turned this completed green color, the field employee has marked it as complete. Double click on the job and review the following tabs. The first tab to review is the Instructions and Additional Contacts tab. Any notes made by the technician will appear above your original office note in this window. Please verify spelling and make sure that the information entered here is accurate. The next tab to review is the Job Items tab. The entries in this tab will soon become the line items on the QuickBooks invoice. Double check the items, quantities, and amounts added by the field employee. The last tab to review before posting is the My Job Fields tab. Your company will likely use this section to allow the field employees to inform you of any reasons the job cannot be closed out or that it requires additional dates, etc. If you have any information entered in the fields here, make sure no further action is required before the customer is invoiced. Since all of the review steps have been completed, click the Complete button in the top right-hand corner of the job. This will open the posting window, giving you the option to close out of this job and thus create an invoice in QuickBooks by clicking Post. This method is best used for companies who would like to review and generate invoices as each job is completed throughout the day. However, some companies prefer to reconcile at the end of the day, or the next day, or possibly the end of the week. If your company prefers to post jobs in mass, we will wait until all of the jobs on your scheduler have turned the same completed green color. Then click your home screen and the office button. Inside of this screen, we will choose the option enter work orders that have been completed. Once this screen has opened, you may use the drop downs in the top left hand corner of the screen to choose what jobs will be displayed and for what technician. A list of jobs will populate the screen. On the far left hand side of each job is the edit button, which will open up the job and let us continue with the review process. You will still want to review the instructions and additional contacts, job items, and my job fields as we did earlier. If all of this information is correct, you may save and close the job, review the rest of the jobs in the same fashion throughout the list, and post them accordingly. If you would like to post the jobs one at a time from this screen, you may do so by clicking the post button on the right hand side. This screen also has the advantage of the post all button. Remember, you must be careful when using this option as any jobs in the current view will be automatically posted to QuickBooks. We have now seen the complete process using smart service. It is up to the QuickBooks user to gather all of the invoices and record payment if it has yet to be collected. Please remember to consult your management staff or training coordinator if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about the information covered today, or call our client support specialists at 888-518-0818. We look forward to speaking with you. As always, for more hints, tricks, and tips, please visit smartserviceinfo.com wiki.